Sharon Ka started taking levodopa for Parkinson's in 2005. Now she has dyskinesia, uncontrollable movements of the body. It is so frustrating when you start having these large involuntary movements because they're intrusive. Here you can see a good example of a lesion, a Parkinson lesion in an animal. So the, the research of neuroscientist Torsten Falk indicates that the anesthetic ketamine eases dyskinesia in rodents and also in five Parkinson's patients who were already taking it for pain relief. In a way it's almost like a reset button where you get a treatment and you have a weeks to month long benefit. Repurposing ketamine for dyskinesia could get it to patients quicker. It's already been safely tested at higher doses than Dr. Falk plans to test. If you start uh, with something fresh, a new drug, the problem uh, can really be that, I mean, it, it can be five to ten years of safety testing before you can really do uh, a proper trial to look for efficacy. Sharon says this is great news. It sounds like a wonderful treatment because those large involuntary movements are so irritating. Falk hopes to start a phase one trial in the coming months. I'm Marty Salt reporting.